In this video, I'm going to give you a simple guide on how you can start using the Ravi wallet, earn Ravi points, and qualify for the Ravi airdrop. So for starters, what is the Ravi wallet? It's an Ethereum wallet that you can use to replace MetaMask or Rainbow or Coinbase wallet. And actually, if you import your pre-existing MetaMask account, to Rabi, you'll earn bonus points, but we'll get to that in a second. So just today, the Rabi team announced the start of their airdrop points campaign. And if you have ever done transactions on the Ethereum network, especially if you've made swaps in the MetaMask wallet, then you will qualify for some points already. Now, in order to actually collect these points, you need to first download the Rabi wallet as a browser extension, and then import your pre-existing accounts. Of course, you can create a completely new account and start earning points from scratch by interacting with the Ravi wallet. But if you want to get those retroactive points for things that you've already done, you will need to import your accounts from MetaMask, from Coinbase wallet, or whatever other Ethereum wallet you're using. So the first step, if you want to collect your retroactive points or start accumulating from scratch, is to download the Ravi wallet and set it up. And if you use my referral code, you'll get a points boost and you'll help support the channel as well. So when you get to this page, hit on this button that says install Ravi wallet and then click to add it to your browser. So this is what it's going to look like as a browser extension and you can click next, hit get started. And this is where you can choose whether or not you want to start again from scratch or if you want to import a pre-existing wallet. See, there's a button here that says import my MetaMask account. It's going to bring you to this page with a little tutorial showing you how to export your private key from MetaMask. So at the top here where you select accounts, if you click on the three little dots and hit account details, it will pop up here and there's a button that says show private key. Now, obviously I'm not gonna show you my private key, but when you click show private key, you're gonna want to copy it, then go back over to the Rabi wallet and paste it in. Otherwise, you can create a new account and when you either import or create a new account, it will bring you to the Rabi page, which looks like this. And you can see in the middle, there's a little button that says Rabi points. If you click on that, it will pop up and show you how many points you qualify for with that wallet. This, I just created a brand new one from scratch, but if you imported a previously existing account, you can claim your retroactive points. And this right here is where you can add the Crypto Cove referral code to get additional points. And then you're good to go. And you can use your Rabi wallet to interact with different applications in the Ethereum ecosystem and track your Rabi points here. And you earn bonus points for referring people, for making swaps in the wallet, or for topping up using their gas top up once a day. Now, I've previously done a little tutorial on how to use the Rabi wallet. It is useful because it has more protections against hacks and phishing scams and wallet drainers. So I would say it's a pretty solid wallet as well. Now, the reason why I didn't import my CryptoCove.eth account from MetaMask is because I do like the MetaMask wallet and I'm actually trying to farm both airdrops simultaneously. I do still have a suspicion that this is going to cause or force MetaMask to drop a token at some point. However, I have seen tons of people just importing their full accounts from MetaMask to Rabi and qualifying for quite a few points. So totally up to you what you want to do. Anyways, hopefully you found this little tutorial helpful and I'll see you later.